Hey everyone, welcome back to another Saga Frontier video. So on today's video, we're going to talk about armor and equipments. As we all know, in Saga Frontier, armor is divided into six sets. There is a headwear, armwear, legwear, bodywear, body armor, and bodysuit. So we're going to start with a bodysuit. The bodysuit, in my opinion, the best one that you can get is the Spriggan suit. There is a cheaper counterpart called Power Suit, but I'm gonna talk about it later why I choose Spriggan suit compared to Power Suit. So, to find Spriggan suit, there are three ways to find it, but I'm gonna talk about the first one that every character can get it. The thing is, it's RNG, as always. And for old players, I know they already know what I'm talking about. So for new players, all you need to do is go to Strike, and then go to the Bio Research Lab, and then you just need to go down to the basement. From here, you go down, and just go down to the basement. Once you're in this basement area, you need to go to that room over there on the right. And then you go up here and you click on this keyboard. And when you saw that lock off, go back out and then you go to this area. Just a tip, before you enter, make sure you make a quick save because this is where the RNG going to play a lot. This is a room where you're going to fight a mini boss called Earth Dragon. Old players already know this, so for newer player, just make sure you have a proper good stats and a proper equipment because it can kill you. So all you need to do is just talk to this scholar and you're gonna fight an earth dragon. So I'll be back in a second, I'll just finish this earth dragon real quick. Well, I didn't get the Spriggan suit, but I got the Hyperion. So Earth Dragon drops Hyperion and also a Spriggan suit. Just in case you want to find a Hyperion, this is also the way to find it. But if you are looking for specifically Spriggan suit, the easiest way that every character has access to is to fight the Earth Dragon. And if you didn't get it on the first fight, you can just quick load and then go back to the fight. So for now, I'm going to move to the second way to find it, which is on Red's chapter as well, on the Black Ray. So on the Black Ray, there are five items that you can find actually. So I'm going to show you all the items first that you can find on the Black Ray. First is this one, the Silver Moon. And then the Iron Clock. On the opposite side of this room, it's the Warlord's Armor. On this side, there is an octopus board, but we don't need that one to be honest because you can find octopus board on another place, 
and much easier to be honest. And on this part is the spring and suit that we want. So the point on this area, you need to buy your time as long as you can before the black ray reach the black X base. So this is like an area before the final dungeon. But for newer player, if you don't know, if you're not close enough to the black X base, if you fought the boss here, you would have a game over. The thing is, you can't get all the item in one run. You need to choose between those two items. So either you go to the Warlord's Armor and also the Octopus Board, or you go for the Iron Clocks and the Spriggan Suit. For newer player, you can also use this as a guide for you to avoid your death in the Black Ray. So all you need to do is go over here on the third floor and when you see M Black over there, this is gonna start the whole sequence. And now, as you can see on your screen, there is 9000 to the Black X base. Every time you switch screen, it reduces 1000 meters to the Black X base. So for now we're going to get this iron clock first and then exit over here and then it says 8000 and then move over here it goes down to 7000 skip this one door and go up here and then it says 6000 and then over here it goes to 5000 then go to this door it says 4000 then take the elevator and go to the first floor and now you're 3000 and then go up here it says 2000 go to the left then it says 1000 and all you need to do is go to over here and Actually, now you are safe because it says about to reach Black Ass Base. But we need to get the Spriggan suit first. So go over here. And then take the Spriggan suit. Oh, I forgot. We need to fight these Power Rangers. And now exit over here. But be careful, don't go back and forth because if you go back and forth, you're gonna meet the boss and it's gonna stop you there and you need to fight the M Black boss. And afterwards, you're gonna be thrown to the Black X base. So make sure you don't make a wrong step. So now all you need to do is go over here and then prepare for M Black boss fight. So that is how you get the Spriggan suit and also that is how you avoid your death in the Black Ray for newer player in case some of you are still stuck on the Black Ray. So the third one is on Blue's chapter so I'm gonna be back in a sec. Okay so the third way to get the Spriggan suit is on Blue's final dungeon. Don't mind me I'm using Rouge because I always use roots instead of blue. So from the twin stairs, go over here and then move to this way. This is the Dragon Lord, so you have to fight him. But before you fight the Dragon Lord, just make sure you make a quick save in case you don't get the Spriggan suit. But if you're not looking for a Spriggan suit, Dragon Lord also drops a Dragon Sword and also a dragon shield. So I'm just gonna fight this guy and then we'll see if we got it or not.
And nope, don't get anything. Well, at least that's the Dragon Lord that you need to fight to get a Spriggan suit. There is no 100% that thing gonna drop the Spriggan suit, but he dropped the Spriggan suit. We're gonna move on to the next item, which is the headwear. Since we're done with the bodysuit, now we're moving to the headgear, which is the magi hat. This one, you can farm it from a unicorn. So the easiest way to find a unicorn is to fight the enemy on the biolab over here. Unicorn should show up from the beginning to midway. So it's like a mid-tier enemy. So what I mean by mid-tier enemy is in Saga Frontier, there is a different tier of enemies that you will face. It depends on how many fights you have been in. So the more you had a fight, the more harder the enemy that you were gonna face. And it's gonna cap out at, for example, in a bio lab, it will cap out at Dulahan, Suzaku, etc., etc. But everything started from low tier. So unicorn, you can find it between from the low tier to the mid tier. Unicorn is always on this one. As you can see, this is the unicorn and. You only get the Maji Hat from a Unicorn. There is no other way to get that Maji Hat. So let me kill the Unicorn first. Then I'm gonna explain why I choose that over the other. Okay, so now I am going to explain why I choose the Maji Hat as the best headgear. If you notice, Mirror Glass is on top because it has 8 defense and also it gives blindness resistance. The reason why I choose to give Magi Hat as my personal pick as the best headgear, it's because even though it gives 6 defense, it also gives a blindness resistance, but it gives you an access to the elemental focus, or we old players would call it magic stone. So I'm going to show you what it does versus what the elemental focus item is. So this is the elemental focus on item. So that is the item one. And now, as you can see, I put the magic head here and you have an access to elemental focus. And it's unlimited. That is why I choose Magi Hat as the best headgear, even though it is super hard to get to be honest. Even in the original, it's like one of the things that is super rare that everyone is hunting for. So move on to the next. On the arm gear, I would say the best one defense wise is bronze armlet, but bronze armlet or in the original we call it SH armlet. It has a side effect because if you got hit by a shock attack, it kind of give you more damage in case of usefulness. I would say Harmonium Bangle is way useful than Bronze Armlet. So if you want to go defense wise, I would say go for Bronze Armlet. But if you want to go in terms of usefulness, I would say go for Harmonium Bangle. So Harmonium Bangle is actually not that rare. You can find it in a lot of enemy and you can also find some Harmonium Bangle in the Shingro Ruins before the twin boss. This is not something super rare but Bronze Armlet, the easiest enemy to get is the Devil Squid. I'll be back in a second and I'll show you where. So I know most of the old players already know where to find the Devil Squid. So I'm just gonna show this for some new players in case they don't know what a Devil Squid is. So you need to go to Omi from Kurong and then go to this Lord Manor. And then you just need to go to the basement.
so you need to just go down to the basement area let me get rid of this enemy first this is the devil squid I'm talking about he is the one that dropped the bronze armlet if he doesn't drop it just go back and then go back in and he should respawn really fast this thing is always here no matter what you do he, no matter how many times you kill it every time you exit this area you go back in this devil squid will always be here its purpose being here is to laugh at us if we click on that treasure in front of him so if you touch that treasure in front of him when he's alive well that thing is going to laugh at you okay we're moving on to the leg gear defense wise i would say the bronze anklet or in the original we call it as h anklet but again it shares the same problem with the bronze armlet it gives you more damage if you got hit by a shock attack and it's not worth it in my opinion my personal pick is the iron clocks because it give you eight defense minus two from bronze anklet but it give you a knockback resistance and also an iron shot technique so iron clock skill is basically in real life you're throwing a flip-flop to an enemy that's the simple way to explain it I know some people would see it as a joke, but from an Asian perspective, trust me, I've seen too many people got thrown by a flip-flop to their face too many times, especially with a wooden flip-flop. And just FYI, it hurts. To find the iron clocks, if you watch earlier where to find a Spriggan suit, you can also find one over there. And also, you can find another one in Wakatu. So, I'm going to Wakatu and I'm going to show you where to find the Iron Club. So from over here, go here. Just follow until usually if you're doing the arcane quest, Gen would go down, you need to go up. Just follow the path. And then, here it is. This is where you find the iron clocks in Wakatu. So, we're done with the leg gear. Let's move on to the next one. The last one is from the armor type. And I must say, the best one is Pluto armor. And Pluto armor, actually you can get it for free in Asolo's chapter. If I'm not mistaken, Rastaban gave you before the final fight. But you can also farm this armor from Dulahan on our favorite place for farming, the Biolab in Strike. You need to be on a high tier fight to get Dulahan over here. I didn't get it this time. But you can farm it from Dulahan. Dulahan can drop Pluto armor and also the Dulahan shield. Quick God, there is another type that is a clothing type, but this one, well, I mean, the best one is the reinforced clothes, and this one you can buy it on Kurong. So this one is not really hard to find. You can just go to Kurong market and then buy it from the NPC there. So I want to make something clear for the new players 
So the difference between using a normal armor versus using a bodysuit. If you use a bodysuit, for example, like as you've seen in your screen, if you use a Spriggan suit, you can only add one clothing and then two accessories. You can't use the headgear, you can't use the leg gear, you can't use the arm gear because basically bodysuit is a bodysuit. If you use a normal armor, you can use a headgear, you can use a leg gear, you can use an arm gear, you can mix match everything. But if you use a bodysuit, you're stuck with that bodysuit. So if you ask me personally, which is better, using a Spriggan suit or using a Pluto armor set? I would say circumstantial. As you see on your screen right now, I'm using a Spriggan suit because this is just a normal gameplay. On a normal situation, I would say using a Spriggan suit set up like this is way better. Once you're dealing with Fuse Ultimate Boss, that is a whole different story. On the remaster, we have Fuse Chapter that has a ultimate boss. Okay, so with all that said, I forgot to mention this. Why I choose the Spriggan suit versus the Power suit. As you can see, the Power suit indeed give you 10 more strength and also 10 more mobility. But the thing is, strength and mobility, you can still grind for it. Defense, you can't grind for your defense. So I would take the defense and I would just grind my mobility and my strength until it reached to the max level. And also, Spriggan suit, if you put it on mech, has way more stats than putting power suit. That's why like, I choose the Spriggan suit as the best bodysuit compared to power suit. But I'm not saying the power suit is bad at all, no. If you can't find a Spriggan suit, well using the power suit would just be fine. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope this short video can be a help for you to find the Spriggan suit and everything else. And as always, if you want to add something, just comment in the comment section down below. And if I'm wrong about something, just point me out on the comment section down below. And I am going to see you guys real soon in the next video. Before I end the video, thank you for all the support. Really thankful for all your kind words that you have been sending me on the comment section. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Bye bye.